you are going to like this effect. Let's start first by using the pen tool to create the area of the light and double click to fine tune it. Make sure the curve you added has a fill, white or any color will do. Next, we will add a curves adjustment and use a curve to brighten the midtones. Now move the curve we created as a mask to the curves adjustment. Excellent! To soften it, we can add a Gaussian blur filter and then make sure it only applies to the curve mask by dragging and dropping onto it. Adjust the radius so that we have a nice smooth transition. To give it more depth, let's now add a levels adjustment above the curves adjustment. Adjust the level slider so that we have a darkened image. Go to the mask curve and while holding the Alt or Option key, drag it to the name of the levels adjustment. This will make a new child copy of the blurred curve we used. Set the blend mode of this to erase so that the levels adjustment is only applied outside the curve. Perfect. For a finishing touch, Let's Alt or Option drag the curve once more to the top of the layer stack and clear its fill and give it an orange outline. Adjust the outline thickness so it looks realistic. Here is a bonus tip. If you want to move the light effect, select the three layers and group them. This however, breaks the effect. So let me undo the group and add a fill layer above the image using the pixel menu. Make sure the fill layer is set to pure white and change its blend mode to multiply. Now we can select the four layers and create a group. Awesome! With the Move tool, you can now reposition this live light effect to your liking. Hit the like button for more cool Affinity tutorials.